Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can add Google Analytics to an Astro project. Now, I'm saying this is an Astro project, but basically this will work for any sort of web framework uh, you are working with. Using Astro, though, for uh, this one. So if you aren't familiar with that, you can come check out the docs here. We're also going to be using this library, uh, Party Town, um, in order to add the analytics. And what else? What else? Yeah, we're gonna have an analytics page here as well. But let's uh, start from the top and create a uh, Astro file here. So we can just uh, copy this over from the docs here. And we're just gonna come over to my terminal here. I'm gonna CD into my desktop, but add this wherever you like. And I'm just gonna add uh, this with PN PM. Uh, you can use yarn also, or just NPM, doesn't really matter. But basically we're just gonna go and add Astro at the latest. So it'll ask you a few questions here. That's fine for now. Right now it'll take you through, do you want to have a blog template and empty? We'll just say include sample files. That sounds good. And then do we want to install the dependencies, which we do. So that'll pnpm install that. And it's going to ask us if we need TypeScript. We're actually not going to need it for this, but normally I probably would add it. Uh, do we need a new Git repository? Uh, I actually don't need one right now. So this will just be a quick test. All right, so that has been uh, created for us. So we can CD into either you could have created your own name or they just gave us one here. So uh, CD into uh, CD into uh, strong star like that. Now I'm just gonna open this up in uh, VS Code here. All right, so this is our basic Astro uh, folder right here. We got our source folder, uh, we got components, you get layouts here, you got pages. Uh, we're not gonna go too much into Astro, I'm assuming you may be familiar with this uh, already. So let's get into it, but first we gotta uh, add one more thing here, which is uh, Party Town. All right, so here we can just go, uh, PM, PM, and we'll go add, and then we're gonna paste in Astro Party Town, which is the other package that we need there. And then we can go PN, PM, dev here to run our server. And you see it here, this is just what you get out of the box. So we can click around and see some of these uh, links or whatever uh, community. I guess these are all just links to somewhere else. So basically just a blank project right here. So this sounds good. Uh, the last thing we need to do here is come and create an analytics page. So come over to uh, analytics.google.com right there and sign up. And uh, after you do that, you can come in and go, I think to admin here and we can go and create an account here. Uh, so we'll just go test company uh, one, go like this and just go through these basic steps here property name, we'll just say test uh, company one again, uh, whatever you wanna have here, US dollars. Uh, this is, uh, we'll say we're in the food and drink business and we'll just go here. And then it's gonna ask you what your objectives are. So what do we wanna do? Let's say we wanna generate leads, we can go through here. And it'll take you through some terms and conditions here and we can accept those. And then we're just gonna use this for web. So we'll go there and we'll say uh, testcompany1.com and testcompany1 like that. We'll go ahead and create that stream. And here is all of our information. So uh, it's gonna bring you automatically to install this Google tag here. Basically, we just want to copy this over. So don't uh, get rid of this, but I think this number is what we're going to be looking for. So don't lose that, but just copy this over uh, and we'll save that for now. All right. So the whole thing with Google Analytics is it's going to measure any page you put that tag. So if you have a uh, layout or something, that might be a good place that you're going to use throughout all of your components. Uh, something like that would be good. You could have maybe a base. Uh, component that you're using where you want to put that also which is like a, a base head or something um, so let's come in and we'll just put it in here like this 
So we'll be using this uh, layout. So you want to put it within this head uh, tags here. So we'll just put it, uh, I think we'll go right at the bottom here below, um, uh, above our title and below the last meta tag, but it shouldn't matter where you put it there. We're just gonna paste that in. Go ahead and save this. Let's uh, close this down a little bit. Okay, so this is basically all that we are looking for from here to here is our Google tag. We got our number right there uh, and that should literally be all we need for this. Now, the only thing we want to change up here is in our script tag up here. We're just going to come below here and we're just going to say type like this. And all we're going to have is text uh, slash party town like this party town like that all lowercase and that's going to be our type uh, and then within our script here we're going to also add that so all we'll say is uh, type like this again and again we'll say text uh, slash party town and that is all we need to do with that so i think this should be good all right, so that is all we need to do for this and you should be good to go. Now this may take, uh, I think they set up to 48 hours for this to uh, actually propagate. So despite us using the page, uh, it's not actually showing any users yet, but that could take up to 48 hours as they said. So come back, check it out, but uh, that should be everything. And uh, yeah, so that is it for this one. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. And until the next one, thanks for watching.